Well, hello, my fabulous friends. I hope you're doing well. Something a little bit different. I have the Game of Thrones cards on the table. I haven't even put the question in. How can you tell me what I will need? Um, Game of Thrones, because I'm going to be reading about George Soros. And he's got five children, and he's 93 years old. He'll be 94 this year. And I want to know what's going to happen with the George Soros fortune. And not only the fortune, the tentacles that George Soros has. He's banned in many countries, including Russia. Um, uh, he has been implicated in purchasing uh, district attorneys in the United States. And by purchasing, I mean, I know they're voted in, but by giving them lots of money so that they have a great campaign, um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I know he's been implicated a couple of times in that. I don't even have to say allegedly, that's on record. Um, it, I just want to know about him. He uh, was born George Schwartz uh, for uh, Jewish parents. There's a terrible rumor that he was a uh, Nazi, but during the war, he was only nine years old. So there's no way he could have been uh, on it. Um, there is lots of innuendo that he turned his back on his Jewish uh, heritage. Um, he's just... Uh, he's he pushes for the W and the E and the F. Uh, he pushes for some of his co some of his companies that he owns uh, funds um, anti oil. He pushes for uh, communism, that kind of thing. He, he's good good friends with the uh, the fellow that runs the F. Um, so this is the Game of Thrones. I'm going to see what's ha what's going to happen to George Thor Soros. Uh, power and money uh, when he passes. Right now, his oldest son, Alexander, is quite out in the public and goes to fancy things and hobnobs with all the powers that be. Um, I'm just wondering how the other children feel about that. So let's ask George Soros, the general energy and what's going to happen with his power and his legacy once he passes. Ooh, Knight of Swords in reverse. They're attacking each other. There's war of words going on. That's a nasty, nasty card. It almost looks like Alexander. He has dark hair on top, if you are familiar at all. Um, nasty, nasty. Wheel of Fortune. Two of Coins. It's, I don't think it's, it, I don't think he's decided who it is yet. Seven of Coins in reverse. Knight of Cups upright. So I uh, interesting we have two knights um, mirroring this. Um, I think there's going to be some kind of loss of money for them. I think they're they're in some kind of deal that might be a lot of, of money loss for them or something they've invested in um, just doesn't come to fruition. It just withers on the vine kind of thing. Um And then one comes and it saves the day, maybe. I think this is Alexander has has put some of their money at risk and it's not going to pay. And I wonder if one of the other children are going to come in. Six of spears, but six of wands in reverse. Yeah, they're in for some hurt, the Soros family. Two of spears in, in on top two of wands on top of two of of uh, coins. Look at that. A Lannister always pays his debt. So this is about paying debt. Um, I think they are in for some hurt here. Some, I don't know, like what they're invested in. It's not going to come to fruition. Something is, is going to be pulled. Ooh, Knight of Spears, Knight of Wands in reverse. Look at all the, so I'm getting the Knights. Um, I didn't look that closely if he has three boys. Um, Interesting. Look at the knights that showed up. Uh, I'm telling you, there's some kind of rumbling here with the Soros family. Nine of spears in reverse. Nine of wands in reverse. They're really embattled. They're really embattled here. They are uh, not having a lot of fun. Five of coins? Are they going to lose that much money? What? The sun. I think we're going to see a spotlight on their actual financial situation. Page of Cups. It'll be surprising news. Let's see. I want to just quickly look here on my phone. 
um, Alexander, Gregory, Andrea, Jonathan, and Robert. So four boys and one girl. So we got three of the boys on the table right now. And here's the page of cups. Here's the daughter. Interesting, we got, so we might have the daughter working with one of the boys here. Knight of cups, page of cups. I'm not looking up their birth dates. Three of cups, see? We've got, we've got disharmony here. The three of cups in reverse. Ace of Cups, upright, the Devil in reverse, and Queen of Cups. Now, the daughter wouldn't be the Queen of Cups. Um, five of Swords. There's the five of them fighting like hell. Page of Cups, Queen of Cups. I wonder if the daughter is going to rise to the top here. Right? Because a queen is over top of the knights. We don't have any kings on the table, so we don't have anybody taking it over. The first the first um, senior one showed up was the queen of cups. And we, I said the page of cups here is the daughter, so she, I think she's going to be elevated here. Ace of cups. I'm wondering if one of them ends up losing the fa uh, some money in the family legacy and the daughter becomes the matriarch. Now, you know, he's 73. So it's, it means children aren't young, right? You think even if they were 30 years younger, they're in their 60s. Um, five of swords, the five of them are fighting like hell. The four boys and the one girl. Ten of spears, ten of wands. It's a big burden. It's a huge burden. Temperance, the devil again. Death. Oh. <gasps> Ten of Swords, Traitor. Eight of Swords in Reverse. Uh-oh. Are we going to hear of, a, of an actual death soon? I think the daughter is positioning herself with one of the boys. And they're going to be the knight in shining armor that comes to save their dad's money. We're going to hear something here in the sun here. This, the, the sun is going to shed a spotlight on something that's going on in that family. Eight of swords in reverse. Nine of cups in reverse. Nine of swords in reverse. The star in reverse. The tower. Five of cups. Whoa, 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 whoa. Something, something is going to happen to the family here. It's going to be, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. Um, somebody could be having like a, a blood difficulty or liver or drinking difficulty. Um, could even be like a cholesterol here, high cholesterol or something. Um, eight of swords to nine of swords, but they're in reverse. We got some big trouble, guys. Really big trouble. We have five of cups here too. So again, we've got the three that are fighting that are going to go down and the two that are the cups, the knight of cups, queen of cups are going to uh, prevail. I think uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna see some something is gonna happen in this family. Um, whether they lose a lot of money, lose one of them, um, suddenly, uh, I think we're gonna see the daughter rise to prominence with the backing of one of the brothers. She won't be able to do it alone. Interesting, you know what didn't come out? The emperor, that's George himself. I don't think he's in control anymore. Um, he may have signed things over to the boys already or the children, um, but the emperor, I was looking for the emperor or even a king card, king of pentacles. He's a Leo, so he would have been the king of wands. He didn't show up. He didn't show up as a king of wands, a king of pentacles, or the emperor. So he is not in control of the sorrow's fortune, the sorrow's reach. He is no longer in control. And the children are fighting about it. 
and something is going to happen. And, uh, and the sister, the daughter, the only girl with the help of one of the brothers is going to rise to the top. You heard it here first. That's kind of interesting. So now we sit and wait. What's going to happen with the George Soros family? Let me just see if the cards will. I'm going to turn that over so we don't play those ones. Once once they're seen, you have to play them. So that's why I do that. Okay, clarify what's going to happen. Can you give us more information about this tower moment? What's going to happen? More information about this tower moment, please. More information about this tower moment, please. Six of swords in reverse. Stress, unable to come to peace. Queen of coins in reverse. Greed, 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 greed. Unable to manifest. The fool. The fool. Well... This will be new for the Soros family. This is definitely them turning the page. Definitely turning the page. I wonder if he, is he married? I don't know if he's married or not. Um, doesn't say, doesn't quickly say, and I'm not going to open it up too much more. Um, but this is greed. Queen of coins in reverse is greed. Um, greed and being unable to manifest things, uh, spending recklessly, investing recklessly, being foolish with money, and uh, a lot of stress. You just can't get rid of that stress. Six of Swords in reverse, and it's just it's perpetuating itself. It's actually growing. Uh, your your mind is spinning. You, that's thoughts you can't stop. And this is going to be new for the for the. Uh, for the Soros family. I think the person who they thought was going to take over is not. You watch, there's going to be a battle and the daughter with the help of one is going to rise to the top because somebody's being foolish with the money, overspending, overinvesting. Um, hmm. Couldn't happen to a better family, but you never want to wish something like that because that will whip back at you. <laughs> So you don't wish bad things, but uh, you don't revel in them, but um, you can smirk. The universe understands smirking. Thank you very much for watching. What do you think about the Soros family? Um, are they that controversial? Um, are they just like another regular, you know, billion dollar family that has their ups and downs? <laughs> They're not like you and me. Don't think that for a moment. Okay, take good care. See you online. Bye for now. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.